Oh, oh my god! It is finally live! Yay, I did that! Woo! So, live stream is available. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this live stream finds you in good health. But first, I would like to talk about how I use Audacity on my side to get better audio. Now, this is my very first live stream and therefore things are gonna be kind of messy. I apologize for that. Oh, look at all the kids shouting outside. Well, let's talk about how I record stuff, how I process audio. You heard about tons of posts everywhere, here and there, that talk about how to use Audacity processing stuff for doing your things. But guess what? Guess what? Audacity is nearly not as bad as people tell you it is and the reason for that is quite simple. People just don't know how to use Audacity. That's not a big deal. I'll fix that in this video. So first step, we are gonna go and we are gonna check how to do stuff with our video recorder now. Here I'm on the Mac right now, so no big deal. We can use ScreenFlow on the Mac, that's pretty simple to record stuff. So let me go ahead and get a run of the ScreenFlow tool that we have here. Where is ScreenFlow? Live stream, baby. Where is ScreenFlow? There it is. Uh, bah, just light here. There's no ScreenFlow, there it is. Yeah, there you go. And once we have screen flow, baby, flowing up, we are gonna start some screen. Oh, wow, there's the audio capture. That works perfectly fine. So, Yeti Studio Phone, let's try to click the record button here and see how this works. Record desktop from the iMac, record audio from the Yeti Studio Phone. Uh, hopefully, f oh, what, 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 what? What happened to the zoom key on my keyboard? Damn, it's not zooming at all. All right, I'll fix that, no worries. Let's click the record button here and let's try to see how I'm gonna use Audacity on this clip here. So here we go. Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Webs here from Corsetro.com and this is a test clip to read your Audacity audio processing worries once and for all. You can research at hundreds of places and you know that Audacity is very troublesome but in this video I assure you you don't need the $5,000 equipment and the fancy foam lined on your walls to get the best quality possible. Alright, that should be more than enough. Let's close that. Hey, wait a second. Did it close? Oh, it did. Oh, it did. So, here, let's... Hi, ladies and gentlemen, this there is, is my audio that is working perfectly. Okay, so that's working. That's great. And let's see if you guys have any comments about this. I don't see your comments. How the hell can I see your comments? There you are. Ha ha ha. Thank you, Novak. Thank you, Hare Krishna. I'm here. This is Waves. And by the way, that there's the there's one little secret that I haven't told you about. I I may people complain that Waves, you are not using your accent. Now the problem is I don't even know what's my accent anymore. And I'll tell you why. These these guys here. Thanks for comments. I'll tell you what. I can speak in many different accents. For example, this is the Indian accent. Hi, this is Waves here. And today, I'm going to talk about how to process audio in Audacity. But this is the Russian accent. Skorsky! Hey Skorsky! Today, I'm going to talk about how to process audio using Audacity and ScreenFlow. And we are going to take a look at some of these filters here. Audacity has been complex. Kazyol! Skorsky! Where are you there, man? You're not there! So, that's the thing, Pawan Jadav is saying I didn't take his name, but I will Pawan Jadav. So let's go back and we are gonna see how to process this stuff. So first step, I'm gonna go to ScreenFlow back here and let's export this. Where is the export option, baby? There you are. I don't see this. Damn. Alright, at the top we go to file somewhere over here. Export. That should be fine. Uh, scale by quality, no need for that. Just take the lossless audio quality out there. Lossless audio only. You click export and it says uh, screen flow. You want to save it on the desktop, of course. I want to save it on that. Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It was over. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. Damn. That is fast, man. That is fast. Holy moly. Thanks for the comment, Hare Krishna. All right. 
Now let's see how we can remove the noise from this clip. Let me start Audacity, Command Space here, Audacity. And yeah, guys, for those of you who missed, this is my first live stream. This is that is why this is un what you call scheduled, not scheduled, because I wasn't sure if this is gonna work properly. If I schedule it and if it doesn't work, you know how everybody's gonna be pissed off, right? So that's the problem. So here we have Audacity running. Let's take that. And it says Audacity 2.1.2. Okay, man, I got your idea. So here I go to Audacity, I go to File, click Open. Hopefully, I'll be able to open that file. There it is, screenflow.aiff. What the F happened to MP3, man? Damn. Click Open on that. It says Read the files directly from the original faster or make a copy. No, I don't make a copy. No copies, please. Click OK. And there we are. So let's let's make this thing bigger and bigger. Here we go. There is pretty big. And first step, what I'm gonna do, damn, I need to fix that whole zoom thing because it's not working. Command uh, Option 8. Look at that. That's just zooming so little. I wonder what happened to my system. So at the top here, there's the option called Screen Flow. Click on that. And we have the first option that says Split Stereo to Mono. And we are going to do that because good podcasting quality voice doesn't come good in stereo. We need mono for that. So click on that. And notice that now we have two separate clips. I'm going to delete the bottom one here. Just delete that. And I'm going to stretch this baby all the way down. Now, of course, we need to zoom in. Just hit Command Plus here. Maybe just select this. Hit Command Plus. No. How the, how the hell do you zoom this thing? It's not working here. All right. Let's move and let me get something to work with. Where's that zoom button on this weird screen? It's not there. Come on, Option Plus, Control Plus, maybe? How's that? Control Plus doesn't do anything. How about the mouse wheel? Come on at the mouse wheel. Oh, come on at the mouse wheel. Oh, that's what works. Damn. I didn't know that. All right, now let's go to the beginning of this clip all the way. And let's try to see what would be the first step. Okay, something is fluctuating on the screen. Any ideas? All right, there you go. So right at the start of this clip, you can see that here we have white noise. This is the noise that we want to remove. Now, most people will tell you this, no big deal, right? Tutorials on YouTube are full of how to do noise removal. That's not why I'm here. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to show you the technique that nobody tells you about and watch carefully. So here, I'm going to take this first step here. I'm going to go to effect. No, not effect. Yeah, effect. Well, where is noise reduction and get the noise profile and then we're going to select the whole damn baby and we got go to effect. We got nice reduction here. And once again, this time the defaults are pretty good. We click. OK. Oh, oh, the noise is gone. But now comes the next and the most important step that nobody tells you. And that would be, well, well, what was that? What was that? What was that? I forgot. Well, effect, there's normalize. There's, there it is. Normalize. Now, as weird as that sounds, normalize lets you do normalize. What it means is that it takes your waveform to its max. Now, notice that it has minus 2.0 written here. It considers 0.0, .0 at the max. And minus 3, minus 4, you can go on numbers. You can read more about normalize by simply searching for it. Let me see. Audacity. No, normalize. Yeah, I'm gonna Google that for you guys because that's what I do. Normalize Audacity manual. They have some nice words, man. I'm not a sound engineer, but tell you what. DC offset. This simply means you center the waveform right at the center. And that is basically this line they're talking about. You see this line at the same is made into a smaller range. Notice that we have something starting at minus 18 and goes up to zero, but on the y-axis that goes from 12 to zero. So that's why it's called a compressor. It takes a big amount of stuff and puts it inside a small range. So that would be the working. So what is the best value for the compressor? Well, that depends on your voice. Now let's play my voice and find out what's the compressor range. So here I go to the start here and what the hell? Something is wrong. It's not working. Come on. What's this? Oh, what? Wow. There's something going on. Let me minimize this. Command space. That works. That still doesn't work. Wow. Did I move something or what? 
Or maybe there's a dialogue that popped open here. Where is that dialogue? Untitled, yeah, yeah, untitled is here. Minimize that, of course. Let's let's keep it down for now. Hey, what is going on? Why isn't Audacity responding back? Come on, talk to me, Mr. Audacity. Let's see what you guys are saying. Something is weird is happening here. Screen is stuck. That's not good. Hey, I'm not using drugs, Rain. I'm always like this. But I keep trying to be professional. You know why? Because there are some biggies watching my videos and they feel kind of lame when I start doing stuff like this. Alright, so let's go to Audacity and fix this. Hmm. Wait a second, I know. I selected everything. Wasn't that the problem? Oh, command button is stuck. Shift button is stuck. Command shift is stuck. What is going on? A keyboard is giving me problems. Notice that there's something stuck on the right side. Wow, this is not working at all. Let's start the kill process or whatever that is. What is that? Task kill process scale application manager activity manager yeah there it is activity monitor that's what you call it oops activity monitor is here it's trying to mess with my system today that's not good there you go activity monitor click on that oops trying to close audacity here where is my dear old audacity there it is what is going on with you audacity why are you not working for me today all right let's see view quit process is that what you want to do? Quit process, force, quit, quit, quit. Damn. Even that doesn't work. Wow. It's stuck big time, man. Where you go, activity monitor, there you are. Let's remove this by force, quit. We'll go to force, quit this time. And we say force, quit. Where the hell's that option, force, quit? It's right there, force, quit. There it is. Finally, damn! What the hell? Okay, so let's go to our Audacity once again. Something is definitely wrong, guys. Sorry about that. Audacity was not working. Something happened. Alright, screen flow. Some projects were not previously saved. Unfortunately, those projects can be automatically recovered. Recover projects. Yeah, let's do that. Wow, it does that. Wow, finally. So we did the normalization. Now we are on to compression. So we first play this and see what's. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that at the top. Look at this. Minus 15. All right. All right. Let me show you what happened. It happened very quickly, and you probably did not notice. The idea here is to look at this chart here at the top and find out where your voice is for the most part. So when I click play here. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. So I am around 12. Yeah, so my voice is mostly around 12. Interesting. So my compressor threshold is going to be 12. So let's go to effect, go to compressor, go to this 18, not 18. It's going to be around 12. And click 12 here. Click OK. And there you go. There's the compressor part. Now the next step is, of course, effect, equalization. This time I'm going to use boss boost. Click OK. That is fine. Next time we're gonna use effect once again, go to equalization, go to treble boost this time. There it is, treble boost, click OK. And now finally we're gonna normalize once again to the same minus 3 dB. And I also go to effect, go to normalize, where is it? There is normalize. So minus 2, click OK, and look at that. Now the final step is to remove the noise from this. And that's pretty simple, just select the first part, go to effect, and go to noise reduction and click get noise profile okay click select everything go to effect noise reduction where is it and this time i'm gonna say okay and that that there it is that is the best audio quality that you can get now i'm not kidding here and uh, let me just zoom in a bit and you can see exactly look at that wow and if i just go i need to export this clip of course i'll just say file export audio once here so desktop let's call it processed come on where's that sound coming from damn it's very annoying man there it is something is happening once again look at that look at that i just tried entering something and something weird is happening pro whoa whoa come on chill down which key oh there it is processed something is wrong with the keyboard i guess let's save and click ok here Let's go to screen flow at this point 
and go and remove the audio there and we'll export it at the last tab. Go to the last tab, go to add media here, select the process.wav, click open and we're gonna drag and drop this baby, drag and drop this baby all the way. Now this is the final video that has the absolute best quality on the planet. Now am I sitting with $5,000 of equipment? No guys, I'm not. So let's... Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Vibs here from Corsetro. That's pretty good. I mean, that is pretty good. Now if you play this, of course, it's, it may sound weird on live stream, of course. But once I upload the clip, once you try this out, this is gonna be pretty good. So the video is complete. Yeah, that's my first live stream, guys. I think we are done. I think it's time to run. So here you are, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see what somebody oh near and dirtle hey webs a big fan here thank you knee and dirtle oh knee and hey what the hell there's an edge inside knee and dirtle man that's wrong spelling and then there's a he should award me yeah sure i'll do that definitely i'm the first one who came here yay pawan jada for the victory so ladies and gentlemen hopefully that was the first live stream i had and hopefully you guys kind of saw something about this i apologize if something was shitty you saw audacity or my keyboard was probably messing up but with this i think we are done with the first live stream and this gives me enough incentive to come in the future and then oh yeah sorry about that alessandro i can talk slow if you want alessandro bocaniano oh sorry about that bogiano that is probably the pronunciation are you from georgia alessandro all right so ladies and gentlemen it's time to close this video i thank you for all your support check out the videos and stuff on corsetro.com in fact let me go ahead and show you i added a chat bots course here on corsetro it's a free course you can check about it and i'll be updating the videos on this course not to mention the free angular 2 course that you guys asked for all the time it's also right here along with the articles and the tutorials for each little thing so have a nice evening ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching Viv is gonna see you next time see you then everybody's live streaming me baby live streaming it's time to go to bed bye bye